Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series First Order Snowtrooper. Now, I do actually own a cup, like, uh, one other, uh, <clears throat> uh, Snow Trooper from the First Order, because he was only, <coughs> only $10 at, uh, Walmart, so, and I haven't seen him around, so, well, hey. Anyways, on the side, you can see 12 there, <coughs> here's the back, if you want to read the read-up, pause it now. There's a nice picture of the Snow Trooper, nothing on the side, and that's about it for packaging. I love how basic, simple the Black Series packagings are, so... Yeah, come on, Marvel Legends, you, you can do this. Anyways, uh, let's get this guy opened up and see how cool All right, we got the Snow Troopers out of the packaging, and, uh, yeah, I'm okay with these figures. I mean, they're not the best troopers out there, but obviously they're not the worst. Um, like, I mean, they're very basic. They only have two colors, black and white, and, uh, you know, it's the original Storm Trooper, which I will do comparisons once we get there, uh, is a lot better because it looks, I mean, I guess this looks alright too, but, like, the other one looks, just has more colors and it comes with uh, more accessories, so, anyways, uh, they do have a new, uh, blaster, which is, you know, just a basic Star Wars blaster with a, a stock attached to it. Now, I, I'm not sure if it's, uh, different, like a different name, but I'm sure it's, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that deep into the Star Wars fandom, but yeah, this looks alright, you can see some nice white, black, like the silver for the, 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 um, sight, and then you can see silver on the scope, very cool, you can see the mag there. And they both come with it. And they both come with packs. You can see the buttons. That. Yeah. And it does port right in. And it's very. It's a nice tight fit. It's not going to come out. So yeah. We'll look at this one. Because this one has a bit of a paint problem on the eye there. So. We're going to look at this one. I am. Like I'm on, I really want to find the uh, the Flame Trooper Black Series. Was was there an old like the an original Flame Trooper? I don't know. I know there's like an original Snow Trooper because I had the other figure, but I don't know. I let me know. But I do like this face sculpt. Not the face sculpt, helmet sculpt. I think it is cooler than, you know, normal. Well, I wouldn't say it's cooler. It's different, you know, fresh. Although it does kind of look like a, uh, a flame trooper, because, it, but it just has this piece which looks like Darth Vader's helmet. <laughs> but you can see the, the buttons here, ports and stuff, and some logos. Paint apps look good there. Paint apps look good everywhere here. No floss. Looks a little fuzzy right there, though, but... Uh, the legs are a bit pudgy, in my opinion. I think they could have been longer, but... I guess it's fine. You get the skirt piece. Nice sculpt. like the boots here. Yeah. It's an alright figure. For ten bucks, it's not that bad. The, can't, the head can't look up because of this piece, but it can look down a little bit. You can't look side to side. It does have head pivot. More than this side than this side, but the arms move out. You can just like, uh, I, don't, I can't get it to go. Like, it has to go underneath there, but it won't go. Huh. Uh, you can do 360. I guess that's as far out as the arms can go. But I'm sure I can go higher. Let's try on this guy. Yeah. It goes a little higher than that, so. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, he has a uh, single bend at the elbow, swivel. Hands can swivel and bend. Hinge. Uh, this doesn't have roll of the dice, which I think it should. 
just because it's a bit, it makes it a bit easier to hold the gun. Uh, his, there's a diaphragm joint can move side to side, side to side, ab crunch that far forward, that far back. The pack doesn't hinder anything, so that's good. Uh, is there a waist joint? No. Hip joints move out like so. He can't kick out quite a bit. Back a tiny bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Uh, the skirt hinders it a little bit, but there is a definitely double joint. And then the feet can't hinge and pivot. Very little, but yeah. I'm going to put the gun back on. <coughs> it is very easy to make these hold, these guys hold the gun. And if you can't see these at Walmart, if you do see these at Walmart, I definitely recommend picking them up if you want to army build uh, the Empire. Because you can take really good shots with these. Because these figures look like hot toys in some pictures. If you go on Amazon and look this guy up, <clears throat> it looks like a freaking hot toy, honestly. Anyways, <clears throat> let's do a sandwich between the old Stormtrooper, who has problems standing up, unfortunately, but... It's kind of leaning, but yeah. Ugh. Oh my god! Let me try to get him to stand over here, and then push. Just put him back in here. Yeah. Uh. <coughs> yeah. Uh, he looks a little taller, but I think that's just because of the helmet piece. And I like how he has these. It looks kind of dirty. When used, I don't know. I just like this one a lot better. Uh, I don't think they're reusing any of the same sculpt. Yeah, definitely not. This is a whole new sculpt from this one. Even though this, this one just came out after this. But, you know. Nothing's reused. I think the pack might be. No. Nah. Or is it? No, it's not. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, Marvel Legends review. I did it. I re it's pre-recorded, like, even before this. So, you know, I, I, and I said I was going to post off Star Wars, so this is a video just saying there's going to be a Marvel Legends review. So, anyways, it's, it's comment and subscribe to see the video of the Marvel Legends. You'll see it tomorrow. I don't know what pose to put these guys in when I put them on display. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.